Macon Bibb County making some changes to recreational areas like Emerson River Park as leaders work to minimize the spread of COVID-19. Frank Malloy spent the afternoon at Emerson and has more on the changes. Places like this pavilion at Emerson River Park are obviously very popular this time of year. People looking for places to go, especially with their children. Children have been at home since March, remember, when school shut down. But effective tomorrow, pavilions and playgrounds like those here at Emerson, they're going to be shut down as Bibb County leaders continue to try and get this COVID-19 pandemic under control. Now, something to keep in mind here. While sports fields, basketball courts, playgrounds, and park pavilions will be closed, the park here at Emerson actually will remain open. You'll still be able to come out here. You'll still be able to float down the river if you want to. You'll be able to use the trails to walk your dog, to run or walk, and they've got plenty of open spaces. You will be able to use those because obviously it's easier to social distance at those places. Also, County Manager Keith Moffat says they will be having some restrictions if you have to do indoor business in the county. If you have to go to a visit a government office, you're going to need to make an appointment. You're not just going to be able to walk in. They're also going to install plexiglass shields, kind of act as a buffer between the county workers and the public when they come in to conduct business and they're also going to stagger work schedules among county employees when possible and if you like to use the bathroom or you have to use it when you come out here the places like Emerson, they're going to increase, increase cleanliness efforts as far as making sure those stay nice and clean. So again, you're going to still be able to use Emerson as far as running, walking, or floating. You're just not going to be able to use the pavilions or the playgrounds as county leaders continue to try and get these cases of the COVID-19 virus under control. Reporting in Macon, Frank Malloy, 13 WMAZ News. And once again, those changes begin tomorrow.